Hello, and welcome to episode 12 of the Beginner Guide to One Piece, The History of Usopp. Usopp made his debut in One Piece chapter 23, corresponding with anime episode 8. Going off of the concept art of the Straw Hat Pirates released by Oda, it is very clear that Usopp was intended to look more like an stereotypical pirate and who did not originally have his long nose. It was stated by Oda that if Usopp was a real person, his nationality would be African. Usopp typically gets seven hours of sleep. This was stated in an SBS by Ishida Oda himself. Now we got over some fun facts about Usopp, let's get into his history. Usopp is the son of Yasop, a pirate who joined red-haired Shanks' crew and sailed away, leaving behind his wife and son. Usopp began to lie that pirates were coming. He first began this practice when he started yelling to his mother that pirates were coming in hopes that it would strengthen her spirits enough to keep her alive, because his mother was of course dying of illness. After his mother died, he just continued to do so because the pain of having lost both parents one way or another, leaving himself alone was too much to handle. Many villagers made a show of chasing him and throwing things at him for running through the town, but they were used to his antics. Some villagers even used his daily run through town as a sort of alarm clock. Aside from his cries of pirates attacking, he also made a story about adventures to entertain Kaya, a young girl he met, who was sick and had to stay in bed all day. Usopp called himself a pirate and took in three kids, Ninji, Tagami, and Paimen, I believe. As his crew, he dubbed the group the Usopp Pirate. And that is it for Usopp's backstory, but with which means I have to bring the episode to an end. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Beginner Guide to One Piece. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation, signing out. Have a great day, guys.